On today's show, China will lift the cap on ownership for foreign automakers. European truck makers absolutely dominate the American market and how paint affects the performance of autonomous cars. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Well, China is going to allow foreign car companies to own more than 50% of their joint ventures in China. It will lift the cap this year for automakers that have new energy vehicle joint ventures and will lift it for other automakers by 2022. Even so, major automakers like Volkswagen and General Motors are so integrated with their Chinese partners that they will maintain those partnerships. China says this move and its recent announcement to lower tariffs on imported cars has nothing to do with its trade dispute with the United States. But some Chinese automakers are ready to move into the American market and China realized it could face the same kind of protectionism it practices at home unless it changed its policies. Yesterday, we reported that Elon Musk acknowledged that Tesla relied too much on automation to build the Model 3, and now Tesla is temporarily suspending production for four to five days to deal with production issues. It's the second time since February the company has stopped production. Tesla says it will build 2,500 Model 3s a week by the end of June, but it is still running short of that goal. Speaking of Tesla, you're not going to want to miss this week's AutoLine After Hours. It's going to be all about the Model 3 because our special guest is Sandy Monroe, who will take us through his company's complete teardown of the car. They ripped apart everything mechanical, everything electronic, and even the batteries. They did find some stupid design mistakes, but also found some brilliant engineering. So if you have questions about the Model 3, send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv. European truck makers absolutely dominate the American market for big semis. And that's coming up next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Well, big news in the world of big trucks. Volkswagen could buy Navistar. VW already owns 17% of the American truck manufacturer, and Bloomberg reports it could buy the whole company. Both of them are already developing an all-electric truck. VW's truck operations are big in Europe, China, South America, but have little presence in North America. Buying Navistar would plug that gap, and European truck makers dominate the U.S. market. Daimler owns Freightliner, Mitsubishi Fuso, and Northern Star, while Volvo Trucks owns Mack Truck. If VW acquires Navistar, European truck makers will have 89% of Class 7 and 8 sales. Yesterday we talked about how putting V2V connected technology into race cars could make them safer, And now Toyota and Lexus will start selling connected vehicles in 2021. It will use dedicated short-range communication, or DSRC, systems, with the goal of spreading it across most of its lineup by the mid-2020s. Some tech companies are promoting LTE technology instead of DSRC, but LTE is the same system that cell phones use and would incur network charges. DSRC does not. The price of LiDAR, one of the most expensive and most important sensors in autonomous cars, could be coming down drastically. Luminar Technologies, the self-driving sensor startup backed by billionaire Peter Thiel, says it can chop the cost tens of thousands of dollars to just $3. LiDAR prices have been dropping fast. A decade ago, they cost 70 grand, then it dropped to about $6,000, and it should go down to $250 a unit next year. Luminar says it plans to boost production from 100 units in 2017 to 5,000 a quarter by the end of this year. A number of automakers are experimenting with 3D printing, but it's mostly for prototypes and not production vehicles. But now BMW is looking to take it to the next step and is investing 10 million euros to create the additive manufacturing campus in Germany. 
It will focus on developing 3D printed plastic and metal components for series production, prototypes, and custom parts. The new facility will be up and running early next year. Autonomy will change a lot in the auto industry, including what colors are used for cars. We'll tell you all about that right after this. Autonomy has the potential to be the most transformative technology to hit the automotive industry. It's going to change a whole lot, even paint. Yeah, you heard me right, even the paint. On AutoLine this week, we were joined by color experts from Exalta, BASF, and PPG, and they explained how car color can play a role in autonomy. It should, yeah. I mean, you want your car to be detectable. You want your car to be seen. Um, so there's um, science to be able to understand what colors are more detectable than others. But at the same time, there's not a lot of regulation on what is going to be used for this um, autonomous vehicle or, you know, what LIDAR system, what, what is the length, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So the regulations have to be set place so that the chemistries and the targets can be set. But um, I think color will always play a role in the science and appeal of the vehicles. Oh, a absolutely. I was going to say, so coatings or paint the exterior will not only be a protective decorative coating, but it also will have to have some functionality to it because, as Nancy was saying, LIDAR has to be able to detect you know, what's around it. And, you know, so you want a paint that's actually more reflective of radar and laser? Correct. And um, so right now, darker colors, have there's an issue with that. But um, through, um, through other technologies, we can make um, other layers more reflective. So we don't want to limit our customers and their choice, or, you know, the uh, OEMs and, and what they want to design. And also coatings for lenses. Uh, you know, because, you know, bad snowstorm, salt, dust, everything, easy to clean surfaces, antibacterial, um, um, you know, smudge proof, glare, you know, glare, all that is important. So those will all need coatings and like consumer electronics, that's part of our business as well. So those are other coatings besides being color, you know, so um, coatings becoming more, a little bit more functional. Yeah, mm -hmm. the functionality of the coating becomes increasingly functional. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. And the other thing about color is the psychology of color takes on a different role now because um, some of the more recent surveys are saying that a lot of people are nervous about autonomous oh, vehicles definitely. on the road. So yeah. <laughs> color can be used actually to calm people down or to bring an added measure of safety that the car becomes more detectable. And it also helps branding. Like uh, if, if cities now start to go to um, fleets of colors, then detection for people hailing uh, robo-taxis and the like become much more facile. You can watch that entire discussion right now on Autoline.tv or just look for it on our YouTube channel. But with that, we wrap up today's show. Thanks for watching. Please join us again here tomorrow.